Sea stars are animals that belong to phylum Echinodermata and class Asteroidea. Phylum Echinodermata contains 80 species of asexually reproducing organisms. Within class Asteroidea, there are three families that reproduce through fission, Asterinidae, Asteridae, and Solasteridae. The genus Elastocaster capensis belongs to the Asteridae family. To learn more about the regeneration rate after fission in the Physaporous sea star, researchers from Argentina, Rubilar, Moretta, and Clayton conducted a study focusing on Elastocaster capensis. During late spring and early summer, the sea stars undergo fission and regenerate the rest of the year. During fission, they divide into two new animals. In order to split into two separate organisms, two sets of arms on opposite sides of the body walk in different directions. This causes the body to fracture into two halves. Once this occurs, regeneration begins to restore the missing parts and ends when the animal appears symmetrical. So, I'll never forgive you! Oh, hi, Patrick. What did I miss? SpongeBob, you're okay! Patrick, your arm! Don't worry, SpongeBob. I'm a sea star. My name is Groback. See? Hooray for regeneration! Sea stars undergo reparative regeneration to lose and replace limbs using stem cell regrowth. This can also be used to eliminate diseased limbs, and some starfish can regenerate back their entire body from a single Most limb. of Chiplet, Argentina, prior to fission. Sea stars were collected and kept in a laboratory aquarium that simulated their natural habitat. After fission, the now 100 sea stars were categorized into two sizes, 11 to 20 millimeters and 21 to 30 millimeters. Each week, the length of the three non-regenerating and the three regenerating arms were measured to the nearest millimeter from the disc to the arm tip. By the end of the experiment, data from only 82 sea stars was analyzed due to the mortality of 11 sea stars and the lack of regeneration in another seven. The arm length, regenerating and non-regenerating, was used in non-linear mixed effect models in order to account for within individual correlation in different models. The researchers determined that the regenerating arms regenerated according to the quadratic model while the non-regenerating arms adjusted according to the linear model. It was found that the regenerating arms regenerated at a rate of about 0.1 millimeters per week. Larger sea stars regenerated at a slower rate of 0.095 millimeters the per internal week. internal organs of their central disc, which includes the jaws, stomach, and nervous system. Afterwards, the wound will close and these organs, along with three arms, will regenerate. Since the arms of a sea star are vital organs for reproduction, locomotion, feeding, and energy storage, fission and regeneration can impose difficulties on the animals. For example, losing multiple arms affects the foraging capabilities of sea stars. Until they are properly able to feed again, their survival depends on the amount of nutrients stored in their pyloric cica. Sea stars that have a reserve of nutrients prior to undergoing fission stand a better chance of survival and have a faster regeneration rate. At first, arms regenerate at a rapid rate and slow down once they near the length of the intact arms. 20% of the arm can regenerate in one month, so regeneration should be complete after about five months. Once the arms are about 50% regenerated, the pyloric cica and gonads are present and the regeneration rate slows due to energy allocation to these organs. Because larger sea stars have a greater size to regenerate, the regeneration rate is larger than smaller sea stars. This means that larger individuals grow more per week than the smaller ones since their regeneration time frame is the same. The factors that regulate regeneration rates are unknown. However, food availability and nutrient storage seem to play a key role. There is a need to research the impacts of salinity and temperature on the regeneration rate of sea stars for predicting the uncertain future of these species due to climate change.